Hey y'all, it's Crystal. Thanks for coming by today. I am here for another tag. Yes, here for another tag. And this is the Have You Chosen Wisely tag. This was created by MJ over at Reading This Life. And she tagged me when, when she made it. And this is a kind of a short sweet one, but really kind of interesting and fun too. So basically you just choose three books that like totally destroyed you as a reader. Yeah they like broke your heart or like made you question your sanity or whatever you know and then three books that then restored you gave you some life back <laughs> and so yeah really just kind of a fun fun interesting little thing so let's hop right in with my first uh, combo here so number one I mean you know you know it was gonna be brought up you knew you knew this was coming if you watch the channel at all Betty by Tiffany McDaniel is one of the most heartbreaking books I have ever read. Um, it is sad. It is sad and depressing, but so wonderfully written and really, <laughs> I don't know. It's so beautifully written about these sad, tragic things. <laughs> it's really a family story, um, uh, kind of based on Tiff, the author's real family. Betty is actually Tiffany's mother. And she grew up, she of uh, a mixed race, uh, um, white and uh, part Cherokee. Her dad was a Cherokee. And they grew up just, I mean, in dirt poor, what we call dirt poor uh, in uh, the Appalachian area of Ohio. And uh, we follow Betty, we, I think we first meet her, she's about maybe eight-ish years old. And we follow her kind of, I think she's about like 18, 19 at the end of the book. And just what, what her family's about. Lots of generational trauma, lots of abuse. Um, it's sad, it's so sad. <laughs> uh, people die it's it's just it's just really freaking sad but it's also really just like a really powerful and poignant I think also because um, there is some love in here too especially the relationship between Betty and her father it's just it's just lovely um, it's, it's worth a read just you know just just prepare yourself <laughs> but it destroyed me it destroyed me I was I bawled <laughs> reading this book now one that will restore you is a really lovely story about friendship. And this is Still Life by Sarah Winman. This isn't historical fiction, though it um there is some there is some tough things in here. It is based around World War II. Do we see some things like you know, but really this is a, just a wonderful story of friendship and found family. And um, we have a soldier that we meet in the beginning who's a British soldier. Um he's in Italy. And um after the war he goes back home and he just kind of settles back into his life um, but then he gets this letter that uh, someone that he had met while in Italy has left him you know his his home and which was used as kind of like an inn and so he's like you know what I'm gonna go and a few of his friends from the neighborhood like go with him and they just open up this little they run this little inn in this little this little town in Italy and I don't know, the, the friendship and love in this story is so wonderful. It's, it's just a really lovely book and um, I just, I really loved it. I think if you are looking for really a good friendship type of book, uh, you can't go wrong here. And so number two, uh, Combo. Uh, yeah, I forgot to grab this book. Anyway, Native Son by Richard Wright is a, whoa, this is a dark book is not it's uh, it's pretty depressing when you get, especially when you get to the end uh, we're basically following a young a young black man and he is hired you know they're uh, this is takes place in Chicago and he is hired as a driver for the wealthy white family and He's, he just drives uh, to the young daughter of uh, this this man around. She's like she's not a teenager. She's like in her like twenties or something. And something happens one night, and he does accidentally kill her. And a story goes from there. He's being pursued and things like that. And basically, this character is just he's so apathetic to the world. It, he just he was just defeated from the beginning. And I feel you just feel this sort of like. Just let, you just feel the weight of the world on his shoulders when you're reading this book. It is depressing and it is does not have a happy ending. And um, yeah, 
it's so good though it's absolutely worth a read and um but yeah it's it destroyed me it really did maybe looking for something happy to help restore you after reading that one you can't go wrong with becky chambers or long way to a small angry planet how happy is this book if you love good friendships a little bit of love thrown in a little bit of an adventure with some space stuff different you know kind of alien you know creatures Man, you'll love this. We're following the crew of the the Wayfarer as they are on a little adventure, and um, but really, it's just about the crew and their their relationships with the with each other and how you know how, how much they love each other. I mean, honestly, and it's just it's like I cried, I laughed, I love this book so much. It will absolutely restore you. Okay, number three. Yeah, Tinder is the Flesh by Augustina Basterica. Whoa, whoa. This is a tough book for me. Um, it's a rough one. It's a rough one. Uh, it's, you know, it takes place in a world in which all sort of animal meat and, and product are are basically poisonous, you know, <laughs> whatever to humanity. And instead of just not eating meat anymore, we decide that we're just going to start harvesting humans. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that sounds like a wonderful plan. Not a good plan. It's de it's devastating. And we follow a man who, who basically runs basically like a butchery of, of humans, and and um, he is gifted this sort of female of a human who is one of the edible humans, not the real humans, and um, he develops this little connection with her and feels uh, feels some type of way, um, but it ends very depressing, and it's just, just a really dark book. It's just a dark book, but it's really good. <laughs> now, if you want something totally different, you need some you need some love and some light. You need some happiness. You can't go wrong with Heartstopper by Alice Usman, right? This is so cute. It is a graphic novel. These two kids in high school that fall in love, they're the most adorable thing ever. It's just pure sweetness, and I love it so much. I really need to continue on with that series, but oh my god, it is it's so sweet and adorable. It will lift you up. It will absolutely lift you up. All right, so that's it. Those are my three picks <laughs> for books that have destroyed me and then restored me a little bit. So uh, again, I think this one has been making the rounds, so I don't know really who to tag, but you know, tag your it if you well, like the idea of this one. I would love to know your three books that you would pick that have destroyed and restored you. All right. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you next one.